So one of the things that you're going to want to do as you work on the machine project is figure out how, how things are going, how well you're doing. Uh, I want to show you how to do that because it's, it's a little bit uh, tricky. So we've given you uh, the machine project ships with a couple of different tasks that you can run that are useful. And actually, I should show you a couple of them here. So let's run the check style task. Um, this runs check style, uh, which checks your code for problems. If there are problems, it'll print them off here. Um, and it's a little bit easier to address them this way than it will be when we run the grading task in a minute. Um, you'll see that, you know, it takes a minute to get started. Uh, it fires up and then um, one thing, so, so one thing that can be a little confusing with this view in Android is that there's kind of two panes over here. There's one on the right, uh, but then there's also this one on the left. And somehow, sometimes if you click around in here, you can find more useful information. So for example, this will actually bring me exactly to where there's certain check style problems. Like in this case, I have an unused import, which check style doesn't like. And this is left over from an earlier demo where I was using the logging um, tool built into Android. And so I would have to get rid of this before I submit it if I wanted to get full points. So that's one thing you can do. Um, another thing I've, I've added to help you out is I've um, also included a formatting task. So um, check style is going to check your code to make sure that certain format constraints are implied. But it's also possible to automatically format code. Um, and so there's a tool uh, by Google that we've integrated with your project. Um, and this will apply certain formatting rules and you've seen it's made some small changes and things like this. Um, and I actually think one of the things it did was it got rid of that unused import that was causing me a trouble, right? So now if I go back and run the check style task again, um, I think that problem has gone away, right? There are still other check style problems that I need to fix, but these are in here intentionally for, for you to get to. Um, Okay, so let's actually run the grade task. So uh, now one thing I want to point out is that when you are actually developing, it's usually much more convenient and much more helpful to run the test suite. Uh, don't run the grading task as part of your workflow, right? Run the test suites. Uh, the test suites work, um, you know, and, and they will usually give you better error messages and better um, failure output than the grading task were. The grading task is really the thing you run kind of at the very end when it's like, okay, I'm ready to submit for the early deadline or I'm ready to submit some other point. Um, and, and that's uh, you know the, what I run here. But if I really wanna see my grade, I'm gonna run this grade task. So I run the task. Now the thing that's confusing here, I'm gonna show you in a minute. When the task finishes, um, unless you've got full points, one of the test cases will have failed. And when one of the test cases fails, what you'll see is that uh, Android Studio is going to show me the failing output from that test case rather than the result of running the grade task. Um, and again, this is just a little bit confusing if you're not used to it. So you'll see right here, there's an assertion failure in one of my tests because I haven't finished the MP yet. Um, and so it shows me this, whereas if I go down here on the left and click on app grade, this is the actual grading output. Uh, so you'll see that uh, there's this nice summary that's printed. I have not earned any points yet on this MP because there's check style problems and I haven't managed to uh, pass any of the, the test cases yet. So uh, this is how to run the grade task and some of the other tasks that come uh, with the MP. You can run this as many times as you want. Uh, one thing I want to point out is this, this is the exactly same code that we run when we grade your MP for an official score. So when you submit, and we'll have instructions about how to do that, um, what we do is on one of our own machines, we run this task. Now, one thing you can get into trouble to is if you change the test suites. So for example, uh, let's do that for fun. So here's one of the test suites. And let's say that in my, um, when I was testing, I decided for some reason to totally comment out this test suite, which you can do. Uh, this code belongs to you, so you can do that if you want. Now I'm gonna rerun the grader. What you're gonna see, it's gonna take another minute to think and, and do its stuff. Um, and you'll see that Voila, I've earned 20 points on the MP, right? By blowing away the test suite. So what I wanna explain to you is that when we test your code officially, we take your code and we overwrite certain files to make sure that you don't mess with us, right? So you can't just comment all the test suites and then get points. See, it's like, oh, now you have 20 points. Nah, not really. Um, when we grade it, we're gonna actually go ahead and replace your test in code with our testing code that we trust. Now it's the same testing code that we gave you. If we need to make changes to the test suites, we'll communicate that to you and we'll provide them to you. We're not trying to trick you here. We're not trying to do anything unexpected. But there are cases where students have modified the test suites 
submitted code that they thought would earn a certain number of points and forgotten, oh, you know, I removed that test case or I modified it or whatever. And so that's one thing to keep in mind. So this is how you can keep track of your progress as you go. Like I said, don't run the grader uh, most of the time. The two most common tasks you should run are the testing suite and then also run the app itself uh, to see how it's behaving and, and debug problems that way as well.